and welcome back to Arson and Girl Gaming. My name is Heather and I thank you for joining me for this special little how-to video. So I had a few people ask me how do you record your gameplay using just your iPhone and iOS 11? And I thought I would try to show you. I'm sitting in a hotel room. It's like six in the morning and you know what else is there to do but to share with you guys so anyway if you have ios 11 on your device you'll want to go into your control panel here and that is accessed by swiping up from the bottom of your phone if you're on any iphone that has ios 11 up to iphone 8 However, the iPhone 10, when it comes out, will be a little bit differently, so you will have to know how to access your control panel from that in order to do this. But anyway, you go to your control panel, you will see this little red flashing circle inside of a circle. It will not be red and flashing for you. You'll want to force touch on it. That will bring you to this screen. Make sure if you want to record your voice that you have microphone audio turned on. You'll see um, once you hit start recording, the red light flashing, that means recording is going on. Of course, if you wanted to stop, you would hit the stop recording. And then you just exit back into whatever it is that you want to be recording. And you can do anything on your phone. It will pick you up as you're doing it. I, of course, am doing Sims Mobile since that is what brought us to this how-to video. And yeah, so you can see I can come in here, collect my gifts for the day, and I'm talking. Now you don't hear any audio of my game, that's because I have it muted. So I'm going to go ahead and flip my rocker switch to turn the audio on. And now you saw that that turned on, and now you can hear the sounds from the game as well as my voice. Now you can upload it directly as this. I'm going to go ahead and turn the sounds back off. You can upload it directly as this, or you can send it from your phone to a computer, edit it within something like Final Cut Pro or Adobe, and you can edit the audio levels. It does record them as two separate tracks so that you can break out and change the volume and adjust things to make it sound better for you. However, you won't get professional sounding sound obviously because you are recording with your phone's microphone you could probably add an additional microphone to the phone to make things sound better but for your everyday recording this is it it's that easy so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this little tiny how-to video i'm gonna go ahead and stop my recording now and i'll see you guys again real soon as always, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you watched. If you're new to the channel and you'd like to subscribe and not miss out on anything fun that I have coming down the line, hit that subscribe button then ring the bell. That'll let YouTube know that you want to see more from me and they'll let you know when I post new things. And I'll see you guys again real soon. Have a great one.